Now we have done all the hard work and we are ready to build our model which will predict whether a given message is spam or not. So in this case our model is a binary classifier and we need some evaluation metrics to evaluate our model whether it is doing good or not as per the requirement of the business. So let's look at some of the evaluation matrices. So one is accuracy. So for example, let's say we have 10 messages in our data set and our model correctly predicted the level of 8 of them. So here accuracy is 8 by 10 or 0.8 or we will say that it has it is 80% accurate. A precision is a very close term in normal literature it may seem similar but uh, precision means that let's say out of 10 it said that 7 are spam but out of that 7 only six were actually spam and one was wrongly classified as spam. So six was the correct spam out of a prediction that it made. So it predicted seven as spam, six were spam. So this is positive, true positive. That is, it correctly predicted spam for six out of seven and seven are the total that it predicted as spam. So denominator is important here. And similarly, recall numerator is the same. So it predicted 7 as spam. As per the model, 7 is spam, 3 is non-spam. And in reality, out of those 7, it got 6 correct and 1 wrong. So numerator is again 6 here. And denominator is total numbers of messages that are actually spam. So let's say actually there are nine spam messages in the data set. So here it will be nine. So if you see the diagram, this entire rectangular region will contain 10 prediction values. And this circular region contains, denotes the messages that were predicted as spam. So here plus means positive is Positive in this case is spam. Our aim is to find out spams. So let's say this circular region denotes all the messages that the model said are spam and outside the circular region are all the messages that the model said are non-spam. Non and out of this circular region, some are correctly labeled, some are wrongly labeled. So the correctly labeled are in green, the left side of the circle. So this we call true, true positive and these were false positives. Similarly, for the negative uh, examples, that is, uh, the model said that these are not spam. Some are correctly labeled as negative, some are incorrectly labeled as negative. So these red ones are the false negatives and these are the true negatives. So if we want to visualize uh, what does precision and recall mean in this context, then you will see that 6, so this is 6 in this case because the mod, this circle denotes 7 and this rectangle in, denotes 10 because there are total 10 predictions. Circle denotes 7, left side denotes 6 because it correctly predicted 6, false positive is 1 here because it wrongly uh, classified 1 as spam whereas it was not and outside region is 3. So precision will mean 6. So 6 is denoted by this green circle, green part of the circle divided by the entire circle. Because this circle denotes all the messages that the model said are positively spam and left is the, that fraction of that only which are correct. So this denotes precision. So this is precision. Now let's see what is recall in this case. So we see that numerator is same in both the cases. So numerator remains the same and denominator changes in this case. So denominator is that is actually spam. So this part of the data set should have been labeled as spam, this. So 
So this left half of the rectangle. So this is recall. Now uh, let's uh, see some example. So let's say uh, we have six messages to classify. These one, two, three, four, five, six denote the messages. And the ground truth levels are spam, spam, non-spam, spam, non-spam, spam, non -spam, spam. And these third line denotes the uh, what the model predicted. So in this case, we see that this one is correct. This one is wrong. So let's say write it by red. So this is wrong. And then uh, this one is wrong. This is correct, correct, correct. So accuracy would be. It got four out of six correct. So accuracy is this. 0 0.66. Six, seven. Now let's see what is precision. Precision is a uh, total number predicted as spam that are actually spam. So here uh, spam should be one, two, three, four, and non spam should be two. And uh, the model predicted one, two, three, four as spam, four as spam. Out of that, three are correct. This one is correct, this one is correct, this one is correct. Only this spam was wrongly classified. So the model uh, predicted 3 out of 4 correct. It predicted 4 as a spam, out of that 3 are correct. So its precision is 3 by 4 or 0 0.75. Now let's see what is recall in this case. Numerator remains same, 3, because the model predicted predict is 4 as a spam, out of that 3 is correct. Now denominator denotes the actual number of messages that are spam. So in ground truth, we see that 4 messages are spam. So denominator is that. So although the recall and precision are same in this case, these 4s are coming from different places. This 4 is coming from this predicted data set, count in predicted data set. And this 4 is coming from ground truth data set. So in ground truth also number of spam is 4. So these 4s are not same. Denominator will be different for precision and recall. Numerator will be same. So these are a strong evaluation matrix for our model. And uh, we would need to uh, adjust the precision or recall as per the business requirement. So, uh, for example, if we we have a email spam classifier, then it would not be too much problematic if you get a few spam messages in your inbox. You can manually delete them. That's not a big problem. The big problem occurs when uh, one of your non-spam messages are classified as spam and put into your spam folder because that may be an important message and uh, it may incorporate big loss to you. So in this case, uh, the precision has to be increased because whatever it classifies as spam, it better be spam. So the model will be uh, predicting something as spam only when it's dead sure that it's a spam. So here we see that there are four spams, but it's okay if model just finds one of them as spam and that is correct. So in this case, precision would be one but recall will be less because in this uh, business requirement it's okay if you uh, allow some uh, false negatives but there should not be false positive because that may result in your non-spam image getting into spam folders so in this case we will like to improve the precision similarly on the other case if false negatives are costly then you would like to improve the recall. So depending on the business requirement, you would like to adjust one of uh, these evaluation metrics.